also one thing i have done not for like only linkedin kind but uh, like for my job searching phase what i have done uh, which helped me also like i maintain an excel like whatever questions mm. i used to prepare whatever questions i used to solve i like ma- maintain an excel and i write the questions like uh, the link the questions and yeah. the difficulty level and mm-hmm. also and also one thing like uh, when you solve some questions you 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 might you may solve that question at that moment but you might not be really comfortable like if that same question comes up like after two or three months again you might you might have to think like mm-hmm. how did you solve so i used to like mark such kind, kind of questions and before any interview i just went yeah. go through that shit and specifically those kind of questions i used to solve so mm-hmm. that really helped me actually so hello everyone today we have a special guest on our channel we have dapan with us so dapan would you like to introduce yourself Definitely Ashish. So hi everyone. I am Darpan. I'm from Assam but currently living in Bangalore. I am working with LinkedIn Bangalore as uh, as a full stack developer software engineer. So yeah, that's pretty much about me. Yeah, so Darpan is here to share with us his uh, interview experience at LinkedIn. LinkedIn being a pretty great company to work at. So how was your interview experience at LinkedIn, man? Tell us everything. Sure, definitely. So, like, uh, I was in this job job searching phase, like where I was mm. like searching for jobs, and I came across this job job for LinkedIn at LinkedIn itself. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I applied through their easy apply uh, option that we get in LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. So, and I got lucky, and I got a call from the recruiter like a couple of days after. So after the call, she described me the job, uh, about the responsibilities and everything about the yeah. interview process and all. So. I just went for it. So it started with a screening round. So a screening round basically consists of like two, three technical questions, coding mm-hmm. questions. Yeah. So the first two questions were related to DP. Then the oh, third wow. one. Oh, first uh, round only. DP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the third was, I guess, uh, binary search, as mm-hmm. far as I can remember. So the questions were like, uh, if I have to like give the difficulty level, I guess it was like lead code medium level questions, mm-hmm. and also in my resume, uh, I mentioned like SQL, mm-hmm. like one of my yeah. like actually that I worked on. So he also asked me like uh, one SQL query. So that that was the first round or the screening round. Yeah. So I cleared that round. So uh, so it's kind of a general process. So mm-hmm. once you clear the screening round. Uh, uh, as per your job, they will like schedule a couple of rounds mm-hmm. at once. So four rounds were scheduled for me. So for me, since it was a, like kind of a full stack developer round, uh-huh. full stack developer role. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, like one coding round got scheduled, one then front end round got scheduled, mm-hmm. one system design, and then one hiring manager rounds got scheduled. Okay. So those four rounds were scheduled uh, within a week. Actually, in, mm-hmm. in the same week, there oh. were like four rounds, one one round each day, kind of a thing. Yeah. So it, yeah. So again, the first round was the coding round. So in that round, again, uh, I uh, I can't remember. I can't recall the questions exactly, but I guess it was again DP question, mm-hmm. one DP question. And also, like uh, I had MongoDB mentioned in my resume, okay. so it's few questions on MongoDB. So yeah, that that was all from that coding round. Then, so it's not like elimination round, but you have to go through all the four rounds. Mm-hmm. So okay. again, the next, yeah. So the next round was uh, the front end round. Mm-hmm. So in that round, uh, I was asked some JavaScript questions. So uh, that's b- basically pure on your resume. So okay. I had JavaScript, React, JS, those things mentioned in my resume. So I was asked. Questions related to JavaScript, React.js, then few coding questions. Mm-hmm. So mostly I solve questions like coding questions on Java, but I was asked like if I am comfortable solving those questions in uh, with JavaScript. So mm-hmm. I, so uh, those were like simple JavaScript coding questions, not that hard. So that was the second round. Then the hiring manager round happened. So as part of it, it was most of most of it like a high level system design mm-hmm. round. Oh, she yeah. asked me, yeah, she asked me to like design the uh, system, uh, and uh, so yeah, it went pretty well as well. Mm-hmm. And the last one is a system design round again. It was specifically a system design round, but not low level, but high level system mm-hmm. design round. So yeah, so those rounds happened, and in one of the round, uh, my feedback was on the age, while mm-hmm. for the other three it was good. So they, the recruiter, like. 
I got a call from the recruiter the next day itself, like after all the four rounds happened, mm-hmm. that uh, we'll be having one more bar razor round just to mm-hmm. be, you know, to be sure yeah, yeah, about yeah. you. Mm-hmm. So in that bar razor round again, I was asked like. Uh, kind of a system level, uh, co- system design question only. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, that again, like, and all the rounds were for like one hour. Mm-hmm. So after that round, uh, I got a call from the, I got the call from the recruiter itself uh, on the same day, uh, same day, like the round happened in the afternoon mm-hmm. and I got the call in the evening that I cleared that round <laughs> I'm getting the offer, job offer. Yeah. And she asked me for like uh, any conven like uh, any convenient time to discuss the other things with the HR. So mm-hmm. the next day, I sp- a call got scheduled with the HR, and things got sorted out, and mm-hmm. I got the offer like that. Yeah. So basically, there were like six rounds and one HR round. Wow, must be hectic, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was intimidating at first, like seeing all the rounds, but once you mm-hmm. like go by just by round by round, yeah, if it, it happens it, in it, a, it, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you had a front end route, then you had like a low level system design, then a high level system design, and then the HR not route. low level, both were like kind both of together. high level system design, yeah, yeah both high level, level system design, really. Okay, so, yeah. So coming to the front end round, like uh, did they ask you to do live coding on sandbox, something like that, or was it most theoretical based? So mostly it was like theoretical plus uh, some JavaScript questions also like to do on the sandbox as well. Mm-hmm. But that's because I was uh, applying for a full stack developer yeah, yeah, position. Yeah. Yes, so yes, if yes. you just apply for a normal software engineer or backend role, then those rounds might not happen for you. Mm-hmm. For a full stack role, uh, you had a round like that, right? Right, yes, right, yes, yes. right. What about the... I mean the pet- yeah so the pattern will be similar like there will be one elimination round then there will be a couple of rounds uh-huh. but depending on the job a or the profile that we're applying for mm-hmm. there might be a little difference yeah mm-hmm. okay okay what about the uh, system design round like was it more like just building one system or like, was it like a, a question and question after question kind of thing how was it like so i was like given like the requirements first like couple of requirements first and asked to design a system based on those requirements and mm-hmm. uh if there are time she was asking me like some age questions or like how we can do that if we want to incorporate such requirements how we can do that so it's like it's kind of a like a open discussion question kind of mm-hmm. open discussion yeah open yeah. discussion kind. yeah right mm-hmm. okay okay nice so it's great, man. You've had experience of uh, all the rounds, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. system design, DSA, coding round, all inclusive, right? Yeah. So LinkedIn is, like I said, uh, pretty much like a dream company to work at. So what advice would you give to students, you know, who are preparing for LinkedIn or a company like LinkedIn? And like I said, you have cracked all these rounds. So you must have some great advice. What would you say to the students watching? I mean, uh, I would just give it to tips like what worked for me so these two tips work for me actually so i like practice uh the lead code for a couple of months actually before mm-hmm. applying for linkedin i am not to be honest i'm not a competitive coder so mm-hmm. i just do lead code once in a while kind of a thing so yeah. for linkedin i like mostly prepare for like four or five months before i applied for linkedin Mm-hmm. So uh, I made myself comfortable at least with the link, uh, late code medium level questions, mm-hmm. if not hard. Yeah. So that one thing. Second thing, whatever you are writing in a resume, be absolute confident mm-hmm. about those things. Like, don't just fake it. Like, I, if you have used something, just be absolute confident about it. Also, one thing I have done, not for like only LinkedIn kind, but uh, like for my job searching phase, what I have done, uh, which helped me also. Like, I maintain an Excel. Like, whatever questions mm-hmm. I used to prepare whatever questions I used to solve. I like maintain an Excel and I write the questions like the link, the questions and the difficulty level. And also, and also one thing like uh, when you solve some questions, you, you, you might, you may solve that question at that moment, but you might not be really comfortable. Like if that same question comes up, like after two or three months, again, you might, you might have to think like, Mm -hmm. how did you solve? So I used to like mark such kind of questions and before any interview, I just went yeah. go through that shit and specifically those kind of questions I used to solve. So mm-hmm. that really helped me actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear that from you because I used to do the same thing. <laughs> I had a Google <laughs> yeah. Doc where I used to write the right. problems which I couldn't solve and it always helps to refer to them before the interviews, right? Exactly. Yeah, that really helps. Okay.
it's nice. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers everything about cracking a company like LinkedIn. So thanks a lot, Durpan, for coming on my channel and sharing your journey. And by the way, guys, Durpan has a TopMeet account. If you want to uh, reach out to him, if you want to take his guidance, then I'll give a link to his TopMeet account in the description box. And like uh, it'll also appear on the screen, so you can reach out to him there. So again, thanks a lot, Durpan, for coming. Yeah, thank you, Ashish, for inviting me over to your channel. And I hope my interview experience actually helps someone. And for any queries, like if it's top made or LinkedIn, you can reach out to me for any queries. So yeah, thank you so much.